Samuel Jordan Fitness here. Thanks for joining me today. We're doing a 15 minute beginner kettlebell workout. Our first exercise is going to be an inchworm deadlift. Hinge at the hips, walk out to a strong plank position, walk it back and before standing, let's do a deadlift of our kettlebell. Okay, get ready to take a 15 second rest. Next up, we've got the kettlebell swing. As that kettlebell comes down, make sure you're hinging at the hips and pushing your pelvis forward to generate that power to swing the kettlebell up. To safely start a swing, we always start with the kettlebell in front of our two feet in a triangle position. This is all about using our posterior chain and our glutes to generate the force. You don't want to be using our arms here, so make sure you're really using your pelvis to generate the power to swing the kettlebell up. Okay, get ready to take another 15 second rest. Next up, we've got a dead clean right side. So we're starting with the kettlebell on the floor. We're gonna be picking it up, cleaning it onto our right shoulder. The key here really is for proper hand insertion and keeping that kettlebell towards the center of our body. We really don't want the kettlebell coming off to the side as we don't want to put our shoulder in any risk of injury. Okay, get ready to take another 15 second rest. So now we're gonna be doing the exact same thing on the left side. So keep that kettlebell right between your legs. Get ready to clean it with your left arm now. Okay, get ready to take another 15 second rest. Next up is one of my favorites, the goblet squat. We want to be safely picking up the kettlebell. We're gonna be holding it right in front of our chest and then we want some strong and low squats. As you can see me demonstrating here, start with the swing and catch the kettlebell at the top of the swing to start your goblet squat. Take extra rests in this one if needed. Thank you. 
Right, we've got a nice long 60 second rest now, which is well deserved. Have a drink if needed and get ready to start the same cycle again. Let's really work on our form this time round. If we can up the pace, then great, but if not, it's absolutely fine to take some extra rests than stated. Okay, get ready to take a 15 second rest. So in about five seconds, we're gonna start with our kettlebell swings again. Okay, get ready to take a 15 second rest. Next up again is our dead cleans with the right side to start with the kettlebell between our two feet just in front of us. With the right arm, we're gonna be bringing that kettlebell up and cleaning it onto our right shoulder. Okay, get ready to take another 15 second rest. So now we're gonna be doing the same thing on our left side again. Make sure that you're safely picking up the kettlebell and when we've got it up there, keep it as close to the center line of your body as possible. Okay, five more seconds and get ready to take a 15 second rest.
Next up, we've got our goblet squats again. Try and get really low with these ones and let's push through. So let's get ready to take a really nice long 60 second rest, take a drink of water if needed and let's power through the last section. Hope you enjoyed that nice long rest. So we've got our inchworm deadlift again. Let's finish really strong now. Last section of the workout, let's go. Let's take a 15 second rest and get ready for the next exercise. Last kettlebell swings of the day now. Let's really power through these ones, try and make these really strong. Five seconds of rest and then let's go. Five seconds, let's take a 15 second rest. So our last dead cleans of the day now, starting with the right side again, starting in about eight seconds. Okay, get ready to take a 15 second rest and let's do the same on the left side. So in about five seconds, get ready to clean that caterpillar up to the left side. Last clean, so let's do these really strong.
okay now get ready to take another 15 second rest we're nearly at the end of the workout now so keep pushing through we've just got some goblet squats left and then we're done so get ready to swing that kettlebell up catch it at the top and let's do some really low squats Just a few more seconds to go now and then we're finished with this workout. Let's finish strong. Well done for completing this 15 minute kettlebell beginner workout. If you liked it, please like the video and give my channel a subscribe. And I'll see you next time.